Hello, this is Ron Vining and I would like to welcome you back to, or maybe this is your first video that you're watching, the Marketing Kitchen TV. This here is the Marketing Kitchen. Today I want to share with you a set that I am so excited that I was able to, to find again. And when I say again, I bought this set when it first came out a couple of years ago and I had bought it just for the minifigures. I built the set because I enjoy building Lego sets and then I sold it keeping, I'm a, I'm a minifigure collector, a Lego Star Wars minifigure collector. So I kept the figures and I sold the set. And then when Star Wars Battlefront 2 came out and also when I watched a couple more episodes of Star Wars Rebels and I saw some other uh, Star Wars material and I actually saw the Imperial Assault Carrier in action I got bummed out and I said I need to find myself another one and I did and I'm quite excited so I will uh, be building I've already taken everything out of the box but I haven't built it yet because actually because the set was older even though I bought it at a retail store uh, it must have been sitting in the storeroom and it must have gotten uh, cool and then warm cool and then warm well the instruction booklet and the stickers were ruined by condensation so there was mold on them so actually the Lego group is sending me a new set of stickers I can download the instructions on PDF so that's fine actually I still have the instructions from the other set that I own so anyway I'll be excited to rebuild this and when I take everyone on a tour of all of my sets one day uh, this built uh, I will talk about but this is from Star Wars Rebels and since you are in the marketing kitchen I always need to make sure that I give a little bit of marketing uh, to make it worth your while to come and for those of you who aren't familiar with Star Wars Rebels it is uh, Disney's first so got to see the Disney IP on everything uh, as you might know Disney acquired Lucasfilm and the Star Wars IP Star Wars franchise uh, for over four billion dollars and in addition to The Force Awakens which was the first film property that we received under the Disney banner prior to that we had Star Wars Rebels so the first new Disney Star Wars material to ever come out came in an animated TV show which was on Disney XD uh, and then in other markets it was on uh, other channels and anyway it's quite quite cool the show aired for four seasons for deliberately four seasons the the fan base was so strong it could have kept going on uh, for as long as Dave Filoni the uh, the showrunner uh, uh, the director um, writer uh, creator he also did the Clone Wars animated series, uh, direct protege of the founder, the creator, George Lucas himself. Uh, but Dave Filoni, uh, this was a fantastic show and uh, I'm excited for the return of Clone Wars uh, later this year on the Disney Plus streaming service. But uh, when we're talking about compelling IP, uh, we're talking about transmedia storytelling. And so something as compelling as Star Wars can transcend and we talk about omni-channel or transmedia it can be on just about any platform so the Star Wars IP for example film franchise comic books novels uh, music video games action figures board games uh, uh, magazine covers uh, greeting cards you name it the, the backpacks clothing uh, blankets, uh, curtains, sheets, cars even. Uh, it's just amazing where the Star Wars IP has uh, uh, just been uh, sort of lifted uh, or placed upon. And pretty much wherever Star Wars is, things sell. So it's just quite cool. And of course then that can also translate to Lego. And in 1999 Lego and Lucasfilm had teamed up together and the first Lego Star Wars sets came out. So it was quite cool uh, that when Disney first acquired uh, uh, Lucasfilm that uh, an animated series was the first to air. 
and again I told you how successful it was and there was also a line of Lego Star Wars toys related to uh, that there were a number of toys not even uh, Mattel uh, uh, Hasbro rather I mean uh, <clears throat> or no sorry Mattel anyway I'm a Lego fan sorry uh, sorry I got distracted uh, either of those um, brands uh, will be like or those fans will be like Ron you don't know what you're talking about you're right I don't in that particular space sorry um, I go back to Kenner back in the Kenner days when I first uh, I mailed in for my first set of, uh, of Star Wars figures back in 1977 uh, <clears throat> all right anyway getting off topic so this was a cool set I'm quite excited to uh, be able to build it again and then not let go of it and I'm also excited too to re-add uh, these figures. There's some really cool mini figures that uh, came with the set that uh, some were e exclusive to the set. Uh, this astromech, for example, uh, and then Sabine in her Mandalorian um, attire. And speaking of Mandalorians, and of course Dave Filoni, as, as I mentioned too, uh, for those of you who aren't aware, Disney is coming out with its own streaming service, similar to, let's say, um, CBS All Access or Netflix. And on this uh, channel will be all of Disney's properties, Disney Animation, uh, Pixar, uh, Star Wars, Marvel, National Geographic. Uh, and then, of course, with the acquisition of Fox, that content will be on the Disney Plus streaming service. But getting back to um, uh, the Mandalorian here, this is Sabine in a Mandalorian armor. Dave Filoni uh, will be directing uh, uh, several episodes, I believe two episodes, of a new Star Wars, the very first live action TV series. And it is actually being written and produced by Jon Favreau. Uh, you might remember uh, him, uh, I certainly do, from um, I don't know if it was acting debut, uh, but uh, oh man, he's just fa he's just fantastic. Uh, and of course, he was the director of um, Iron Man and The Jungle Book, and he's bringing uh, The Chef. Actually, what a fantastic movie! If you haven't seen Chef, you've got to check that one out by John Favreau. Big fan of that film. Uh, very talented uh, actor. Um, he plays Lucky in the Marvel franchise, as well as, again, he uh, he's also serves as executive producer on the Avenger. Anything that has Tony Stark in it, or Iron Man, um, he has some direction in that, because he's the one that actually, uh, I, uh, Kevin Feige is the guru um, of the, he's the executive producer, uh, magic storyteller, uh, but uh, so sort of under him was John Favreau who brought us the first Iron Man movie over 10 years ago now and what amazing story arc when we talk about brand storytelling when we talk about Marvel wow that's so compelling I'll certainly do a video on that in the future because when we're in the marketing kitchen anything related to the ABCM we'll talk about that's advertising branding communications and marketing and of course we'll touch on other things too like sales uh, or human resources. Marketing touches uh, those uh, certainly as well too. Uh, but all right, anyway, video is getting long. I just wanted to share with you my excitement that I was able to procure this set again, and that um, I'll be building it and sharing with you, sharing it with you in a future video. All right, I'm Ron Vining. Um, welcome again to the Marketing Kitchen. I thank you for j coming in here with me, and in the future we'll be doing all kinds of crazy things here. I'll be cooking. I'll be talking marketing. Uh, we won't just be looking at Lego sets. Uh, just doing a, f a bunch of initial videos now uh, with Lego because uh, it's a great sort of I can you put a Lego set in front of me and I can just start talking uh, about all things marketing uh, that tie into that particular IP that's there. Uh, and of course, like the Lego Movie 2 coming out, be a lot of uh, fun stuff that we can talk about uh, related to that as well. All right. Running long, I just keep talking.